welcome back today guys to the channel need for speed heat the hype is still very much alive right now we have a brand new trailer dropping uh in about a day or so and that's going to be revealed on gamescom so they're going to be doing a brand new gameplay trailer uh as it stands right now i do believe uh the trailer will be launching in about a day and a half or so that's probably the give or take but it will be Monday at around 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time which it does look like it's going to be now I figured um, I would do a little throwback for today and showcase some Need for Speed Pro Street gameplay right a lot of you guys including myself had those Need for Speed Pro Street vibes from that trailer now I right I gotta be honest with you I missed the game I went back I booted it up on the 360 I had a blast with it man I played every game mode that they offered drifting drag racing the speed challenges grip racing it was a lot of fun it was a throwback and I definitely hope that a lot of those find its way in to need for speed heat now, I'm talking the drag racing drifting specifically and you know obviously we're not gonna see speed challenges come back but you know just that game mode alone you know the sense of speed it was a lot of fun you know I don't know what it was about these earlier need for speed games if it was just you know the raw gameplay the engine sound you know not trying to be too over the top you know it was just it was raw it was it was a great racing game and I don't know how else to put it but if you were you know in that era growing up the game was definitely well ahead of its time you know the physics engine was great it definitely still had a few bugs it was kind of you know on rails when you would go sideways in a sense but you know I feel like we've all just kind of you know learned to love any need for speed game that's come out and that's kind of you know what's happened in these last you know three to four years or so with 2015 then we had payback come out you know they've been great games they've had a great story mode but in terms of replayability in terms of you know the physics engine itself it's been definitely lacking and that's where you know the game really struggles to find life is outside of those you know those first few months of the game coming out once you beat the game you know there's really not much to do and obviously if you guys do remember Need for Speed Payback had a really bad start they didn't even have online on the game so I'm really banking on Need for Speed Heat coming out with online multiplayer right out of the gate if it doesn't have it right off the bat you know it's definitely going to be disappointing uh, I feel like you know 2019 we need online right out of the box or it's definitely going to struggle past that month or so because it does take them a long time to get that up we had Jake 360 uh, he goes please be good not drift to turn and not riddled with microtransactions, man. I definitely agree with that. The drift to turn definitely looks present this time around. Now, mind you, though, they did say it's a completely reworked physics engine, right? They said that they put a lot of work in this physics engine. Um, you know, from what we've seen in that first trailer, and mind you, it's just a trailer. It's not a gameplay trailer. It looked identical. You can say it's a brand new physics engine, and that's fine, right? It could be, but in what we saw, to me, it looked very similar even with you know the cop car turning around with the car setting up for the drag race it just kind of you know was placed there quickly though have a listen to how good this game was I definitely missed the game. I definitely enjoyed the way that it sounded, the way that it handled, um, you know, just the memories of Pro Street, man. Going back to Heat, though, right, the physics of the game are definitely questionable at this point in time. Obviously, they said it's new, and, you know, I get that, but like I said, from the gameplay that they showed, it definitely does look a little bit different. The Mustang, kind of, you know, you can kind of see it um, almost turning into drift, right, and almost not a break to drift, but a turn into drift, if you will. So maybe they took away the break to drift, and put in the turn into drift. I don't know exactly, but I definitely hope that the physics are more simulation. That's you know the main thing that people are talking about. They want better physics on the game. Also, like I said in that comment, they don't want microtransactions. That's one of the biggest things this year. Hopefully EA has learned that from Need for Speed, and I'd really like to see them start locking the vehicles to a progression system and or the upgrades as well too you know back in the day you couldn't just go out and equip you know the best parts if you had the money you actually had to go out and unlock them as you progress through the career mode so i definitely do hope that there is some sort of replayability on there uh, there also was a big screenshot that was leaked in the last coming days uh, i did see it first uh, black panther talked about it on his video if you guys missed that check it out he's been killing it on uh the fast need for speed heat content man absolutely crazy check him out down below uh, but 
This was the screenshot in question. Now it shows the Viper going down Palm City. And now the map though, it has some interesting icons on here. We have a gas station, we have a couple different money icons, we have a pink and blue event set up here looks like, so which means we may be racing during the day, police at night. That's kind of the theme that it looks like it's going for. Uh, we have nitrous tanks, we have a heat level on top, we're in downtown Palm City. Just everything looks, you know, nice and dark and wet and it just, it looks good, right? It definitely does look good. I'm excited for it and I'm definitely waiting for Monday. I will be putting out that gameplay video reaction, you know, breakdown on Monday as soon as that does drop. So about an hour after it comes out, my video will be coming out. So make sure you guys do subscribe with post notifications to get the latest Need for Speed, Heat, Breakdown, Gameplay. Read a comment here that I pulled uh, from Static Films. It goes, the trailer would be better without those voice actors dialogue besides that graphics look great hopefully EA does apply earlier games like Pro Street Mechanics, Underground 2 customization, settings, most wanted gameplay, ghost games, please learn from predecessors, develop EA Black Box, we already know the story will be trash. So definitely there's a lot of people that are, you know, kind of for and against Heat. A lot of people just want it to do well. There's nobody that hates Need for Speed, I feel like. There's, you know, there's no kind of people like, oh, this, you know, series trash, man. People just want it to do well. That's the biggest thing. We all grew up with Need for Speed. We all grew up with cars. We want games to do well that have cars in it. That's right. That's just me personally. I don't know your thoughts down below, but I got to be honest though. The trailer kind of dialogue with the cop coming out saying, you know, I said right now kind of thing. It was, it was a little bit funny, I feel like. Right? EA, the game will be out in a few months. Community. I said right now. Right? It just, it feels like Cross. You know, he's trying too hard a little bit to make him look like cross i feel like that's that's just my own input on there there's only one cross right they should have definitely brought him back i don't know why they haven't yet it's probably one of you know the weirdest moves i've ever seen you know a character like that you know a police character mind you that has been working with them and you know i don't know maybe he'll be in the story mode he was mentioned in payback right so there is definitely a hope that he may find himself in heat the words heat maybe you know cross sent him to come and get i don't know that's all I'm saying. It's speculation. We'll have to wait and see. Either way, I do hope that this time around the wheel support is definitely better than what it was in Payback. NP, he goes, wheel support is very plausible because Thrustmaster retweeted a tweet about the game. They were talking about how wet the weather was all the time. But I feel like, though, if they really did rework the physics, they would have taken the time to make it work on the wheel properly. So I really do hope that they did that. Uh, and moving forward, maybe we will do a full let's play on the wheel man that is definitely my hopes on that i would love to be able to do that for you guys um you know and obviously the wheel just makes it more fun for me at the same time right so i really do you know my fingers are crossed for a proper wheel supported need for speed finally man come on another big thing that god mentioned uh was the pre-order bonus for the deluxe users now we had one here from t express and go sloppy read the article it says that ea completely redoing the physics for the game and if you check out the pre-order it says that the outfits of your avatar and a lot of extra cash infos so i checked it out i went on the need for speed website to have a look at the deluxe edition and we do have avatar clothing so that is definitely confirmed customization of your character for exclusive character outfits we're also going to get ks edition cars along through progression which is great. We have a KS Edition starter car, uh, but again, though, progression is definitely key, and I'm very excited to see that. Now, I dug in a little bit more to find out that some of those cars, while well, we have a brand new car coming to the game, BMW i8 is officially confirmed for Need for Speed Heat. Amongst a few others, we have the Evo 10 coming in there, Mercedes C63 AMG, and the Grand Sport all unlocked through progression. So that's really cool to see. Um, but again, though, you know, I'm really excited for Need for Speed Heat. Do not get me wrong. I just want the game to do well. Am I going to play it if it still has that railroad-style physics engine? Yes, of course I will be. You know, mind you, do I think it's going to be that bad this time around? No, not at all. You know, when I say it looks like it, and I'm sure, right, if they're going to say that they've redone the physics, they've redone the physics. But, you know, they definitely chose the wrong gameplay to show. Maybe it was on purpose to really just get the word of mouth going around and talking about the physics end. I don't know, but we will know T minus one day, man. 24 hours, we will have all the answers that we're going to need for Need for Speed Heat. Hopefully, at least, right? We're probably going to see some gameplay with the Dodge Viper like we saw in that screenshot. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. You know, are you ready for another Need for Speed Payback style? Because that's kind of what it looks like. It looks like a Payback Part 2 almost. You know, a lot of you guys wanted to go back to this. And some of the screenshots, we got this, you know, this style. This is what kind of reminded me of Need for Speed Pro Street was this, you know, kind of the desert start with the trailer. Same thing applied. It looked very similar to the two. 
and it definitely, you know, made me want to play the game again. And, you know, I was glad I did, and I definitely will be going back and revisiting some of these older games on the PS2, 360, PS1. So if there's anything that you would like to see down below, I got a bunch of them coming in. So I want to get through all of the Need for Speeds before Heat does drop. So that'll be really exciting to do on the channel. And there may just very well be a wheel cam involved there, man. I've been going out, picking up some wheels off of eBay for these console games. So I'm excited, man. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I sent the Audi sailing on it, man. This is one of my favorite things to do in the demo. Pro Street demo when it came out, this was the track that we got. You can toss them off the hills. It was a fun time, man. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to slap that like button. Need for Speed Heat. We're going to get some answers very soon, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.